Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the 12th Sunday in ordinary time, and it happens to be Father's Day. And so I want to wish you a happy Father's Day and all the fathers at their homes, God's blessings. And as we prepare to pray for the fathers and to pray for ourselves, let us call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's pardon and healing. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my ways, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the old Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. First reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear men whispering, terror is on every side, denounce him, let us denounce him. Say all my familiar friends, watching for my fall. Perhaps he will be deceived. Then we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble. They will not overcome me. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O oh Lord of hosts, we test the righteous, we see the heart and the mind. Let me see your vengeance upon them. For to you have I committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord. For he has delivered the life of the needy from the end of evil doers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> our responsorial song and our responses. In your great mercy, answer me, O Lord. In your great mercy, answer me, O Lord. It is for you that I suffer tongues. That shame has covered my face. To my own kin, I have become an outcast, a stranger to the children of my mother. Zeal for your house consumes me. The towns against you fall on me. In your great mercy, answer me, O Lord. But I pray to you, O Lord, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy, answer me, O God. With your salvation that never fails, Lord, answer for your mercy is kind. In your great compassion, turn towards me. In your great mercy, answer me, O Lord. The poor, the poor when they see it, will be glad. And God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spend his own in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise. The seas and everything that moves in them. In your great mercy, answer me, O Lord. Zizo Chichipiri, Chinoba Samba, Ya Pauro, Varoma. In Zwai Marzia Mari, Yom Samba, Ya Kanyore, Varoma. Amazang, Munumweche, Tain, Yaka Sakisa, Utirutazo, Rue Pasipan, Uye Rutazo, and Dirwo, 
wakawisa rupu. Nezorupu wakazowira munhu wose nokuti vose vakatadza. Ndinodaro nokuti rutadzo rwakanga rwatovapo. Mutemo usati waiswa. Kunyangwe dai rusingaverengwe kana pasina mutemo. Nezoka rupu rwaingova nomambo waru kubira panada kushikira kuna Moses wakanana nirawo nokuna avo vasina kumbotadza sokutadza kwakaita Adam akaita zvainza saite ye Adam ainge ari menzaniso womunhu wakanga anze aizouya asi chipo chomoyo chena mamware chakaishopindiridza zvakanyanya rutadzo wa Adam Nokuti rutadzo rwomunhu uya mumwe chete ndirwo rwakasakisa rupu rworuzhinji rwavanhu asi zviya zvarakakonza zvakaishokundwa kwazvo nomoyo chena wamwana uye nechipo chakapiwa kuna vazhinji nomoyo chena wamunhu mumwe cheteo anova ndiye Kristo apa ndipo panoperera maridzo echipiriyanas spirit of truth will bear witness to me says the lord and you also are witnesses alleluia 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Have no fear of men, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, utter in the light. And what you hear whispered, proclaim upon the roof of the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, and not one of them will fall to the ground without your father's will. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore. You are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, some years ago an Irish scholar once gave an interview. And during that interview he was asked a question, are you a Christian? And in his response he says, yes, I am a Christian but not offensively so. I wonder what you make of that response. I wonder if the scholar had read anything about today's gospel or today's readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we cannot be Christians and not be offensive. That for me will be a contradiction in terms. By the very fact that we are Christians, we stand for values, some of them that challenge the society in which we live. What we proclaim is that which we know and we have received from the Lord himself. We have a typical example of what it means to be a follower of the Lord in today's first reading. The prophet Jeremiah is a man who knows suffering. He is a man who knows what it is to be rejected and to be persecuted. Several times he was given punishments of various sorts. At one time he was thrown down the sewer drain only to be saved by his friends. And what was his crime? His crime was the proclamation of the good news. His crime was challenging his community. His crime was pointing out the ills in his society. And when he does that, he accepts, he upsets the powers that be. And they seek to silence him. Today's reading is more or less an inner struggle within Jeremiah. He sees what is happening and he observes that he no longer has friends. Even some of those who were his friends have turned against him. He listens and what are the voices that he hears. He says, I hear so many people disparaging me. There are people who are lying in wait, lest he falters, and they use that against him. And so in his struggle, not knowing whether to proclaim what the Lord is saying to him, or to give in to the forces that be. Jeremiah turns to the Lord in prayer. In the end, he ends on a happy note because he knows that his enemies will not triumph. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, if Jeremiah says his enemies will not triumph, it's not that Jeremiah will not suffer the pain that comes with persecution. He has come to a conviction that all these things that he encounters, the hardships, the difficulties, painful as they as well they are, they are not to stand on his way. This is what our Lord Jesus Christ is saying in today's gospel. Today's gospel is drawn from the mission teaching of Jesus. He prepares his apostles to carry out the mission. And Jesus says to the apostles, you are not different from me. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. 
And yet Jesus says to the, to the apostles in today's gospel three times, do not be afraid. What are they supposed not to be afraid of? Jesus says they are men who will persecute you. And injustices will be done against you. When these do happen, know that injustices will not last forever. For there is nothing that is hidden that will not be known. And Jesus says to his apostles, This message you hear from me is the message of life. Never shy away from proclaiming it. When I tell you things, be megaphones. Shout them from the rooftops. Disturb your communities and your societies by telling them the truth. When you do that, do not think that you will be welcomed by everyone. Surely persecution will come your way. And yet, even when you are persecuted, remember, there is one who stands by your side. There is one who you are proclaiming, who is the source of life and the source of death. Do not fear those who bring death, but they cannot get rid of your souls. My dear brothers and sisters, in Christ Jesus is saying to us, the proclamation of the gospel itself brings hardships. And when those hardships do come, we should not give in. As Christians, we have no choice but to choose God. And choosing God comes with its own challenges. Another source of courage for the disciples of the Lord is that they are loved by their Father. Jesus says, not a simply sparrow falls without your father knowing it. And before your father, you are of great value than sparrows. Your father cares about you. Maybe there's something to take home. In the proclamation of the gospel, we do not seek to please anyone. We do not seek people's admiration. We seek to save the Lord. And in doing so, we know that we are vindicated by him who loves us. Our vindication does not come from men or women. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm also conscious that on this day we celebrate Father's Day. What message can we share with our fathers? Maybe the gospel is saying to them, be men of integrity. Men who stand for the values of your faith. If you do that, you will disturb your families. Not at all times will there be joy. Do not be a source of pain, but stand for that which is true. One old priest once said, when you stand for the truth, Thus, politics. When you stand for the gospel, thus something revolutionary. Maybe today we should pray for the fathers that they may be men of integrity, men who stand for the truth and who witness to the truth, but above all, men who care and love their families. When we do that, we witness. Lord and we witness to the gospel. Amaza dewa ngati kukuri reish tendero chedu. Dino tendera mwari baba wa namasi mawusi musiki wede nganasi. Not 
Amazadiwa ngati tulile imu toro ose we na mozedu kuna mambu. Tichikumbiri la kirike rose na pasipose. For the church which dispenses the abundant free gift of divine grace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Mambo Yeso Christo, Ipaiba Bati, Mbasa Renyu, Shungu Zogupari Zadama Renyu, Vasinga Aski, Tinzwe Yuo Mambo. For nations enslaved by sinful systems of oppression and terror, let us pray to the Lord. Charira Yobo, Seva Rukufamba Ruendo, Tinzwe Yuo Mambo. For men and women who are tormented by fear and worry, let us pray to the Lord. For men and women descending the call to be priests or religious, let us pray to the Lord. Ipaiwa kapa zorori singa piri tinzwe yuo mambo. For all fathers on this day that they may be great sources of inspiration to their families and that they may care for their families with love, let us pray to the Lord. Let us sign and deposit and offer our own petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of all creation, we commit our cause to you and praise you for caring for us in our need by giving us your own Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
tayari kwa mpira wetu wa mchure na mwari baba wa na masimba wose Mambo wedi Yesu Kristo iti kuna baba muri yenyu yati Mwari baba wetu tambira wa mpira uyu okutenda unoti wazanisa nini Itaiwo kuti tiupire no moyo unorudo unozudukupisa ndozo atati kuti sitsire kuna mwari baba The Lord be with you Lift up your hearts Let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, creator of the world and source of all life, for you never forsake the works of your wisdom, but by your providence, even, uh, even now at work in our midst, with mighty hand and outstretched arm, you led your people Israel through the desert, now, as your church makes a pilgrim journey in the world, you always accompany her by the power of the Holy Spirit and lead her along the paths of time to the eternal joy of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. And so with angels and saints, we too sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna to the highest. Blessed is you, comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the highest. We will say Eucharistic prayer for you, St. Masters of Mary and Peace, number two. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples on, now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross. 
to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. We look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the pastoral sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and to entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters, we have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose face you alone have known, admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, with the apostles and martyrs, St. Gerard, with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Mponesu wedu pachake ndia kati raira kati tisa china matu itu, daru ngatina mati iti chiti. Baba wedu mbrudenga, stare nyunga iti. Kumabuwe nyunga usiki, kudapwe nyunga iti, paso kudenga. Chipe o nasi kusabwe kwezu. Muzika Mambo wedi yeso kristo makati kuna aposto rivenyu Dino kusira iru gari na kupa iru gari wamu Regai kuringa matazo edu muringe chete chitendero chisanga lorenyu Mbewa na varobo soru gari na kugari sana se amani hamu Mimu haru no gara mchitonga kwe misi isinga peri Rugari wa mambo ngarwe ne minari na
onayo ayana yemwari onanya kubvisa matadzo hapasi zvavo vakakokwa kumabiko ehwayana
in egg or spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that your presence is the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Yes, Wangu. Do not enter a pause of the Morimum Sacrament of Sandy Rata. Do not die in the source. Do not show your eyes at Kanyanya Mumuya Wangu. So I'm seeing a funny sebu come to Rim Sacrament. We are in Kinde Moyomangu, the Kunga and the Dog Kamchirai, Muzone called the Tigua. Do not for Mamirai, the North Bataniza in Old Sequa Mori, Musa Fume, put in the Parazan in me, Narin Ose. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Before we pray for God's blessing, I would like to wish all fathers a happy Father's Day, and I hope you will get a good treat from your families. I would also want to say we look forward to seeing some of you next Sunday, beginning on Saturday, when we open the parish for physical masses. We continue to pray and ask for the Lord's protection and guidance during these difficult times. Mambo ngabe nemi. Mwari muna masimba ose baba. Nemo anakomana na mwaya mtu ene kongori laiva na venyo ahu. Mungari mtu wa chengeta kwe misi isinga wapere. Mcheuro wedwe misa wapere angatiche ndae murugari wa kristo. 